guys, Will here with WTF Car Reviews and Terry are going to be reviewing this all new 2022 BMW i4 M50. And huge thanks to Jesse at BMW of Tampa for making this review possible. Their inventory is surprisingly impressive, I'll leave a link to it below. And if you're in the market for a new premium vehicle in the Tampa area, I would definitely recommend checking these guys out and ask for Jesse. And for those of you guys who don't know, the i4 is BMW's all new fully electric sports sedan sharing a platform with the three series and the 4 series Grand Coupe as well as the 2 series Grand Coupe however this is fully electric available in 3 different power plants the base making around 268 horsepower enough to get this car to 60 in the low 6 second range you can upgrade to the 40i which has 335 horsepower enough to get this car to 60 in the higher 5 second range here we have the M50 with dual motor all wheel drive system making around 520 horsepower the estimates are between 520 and 536 we'll say around 520 and around 580 pound feet of torque enough to get this 5100 pound sports sedan to 60 under 4 seconds around 3.7 seconds with launch control we're not going to try out launch control in this review but still off the line since it's fully electric you get just about all that power right away this 2022 BMW i4 M50i starts around $69,000. What do we get for that money? Let's jump right in. So up front, you notice your really beautiful LED headlights. They're labeled BMW LED in the corner. I like this aluminum surrounding it. Full black headlight housing, daytime running lights. We'll check those out once we start this car up. This Brooklyn gray metallic also really shines in this Florida sun. The BMW ring has a blue outline, signature for the EVs for BMW M badging on your kidney style grill the kidney style grill not the most opening not really necessary since this is a full ev the panel will house your advanced safety features full front parking sensing you get functional air curtain right outside hopefully i can pick up that airflow for you guys i'm liking the sharp front splitter but overall the front styling signature bmw it really doesn't look that far different compared to the 4 Series Grand Coupe and the 3 Series, it does look very similar to those. Of course, the kidney grille does have that panel to it, but outside of that, you really won't notice a whole lot of differences. As far as this wheel and tire setup, I'm really liking these M-style rims. These are 19s wrapped in 245-40R19 Pirelli P0 all-season tires. Aggressive M-style brake caliper too. You can't really tell because of the position of the rim, but I'm really liking it. Black lug nuts too like the alloy surrounds for the rims clean look pretty low to the ground too it helps because of the electric batteries really lowering the center of gravity not sure if i can pick it up for you guys but the entire floor is basically flat which really helps when it comes to aerodynamics you see a functional heat extractor outside i'm liking the rocker panel too all blacked out smart access for all four passengers black window trim really aggressive m styling blacked out b pillar no tints that, that of course can be added after market this mirror it's not body color has like a funky gold metallic look to it led turn signal on it and just like the m4 really funky square design for the inner portion but anyway continuing along the rear wheel and tire setup basically the exact same however here we get 255 40 r19 pirelli p0 all season tires so a wider compound out rear you should still be able to do tire rotations because it's only a 10 millimeter difference however it's still probably better to keep the wider tires out rear you get a smaller brake caliper too but the rim design itself basically the exact same all body colors surrounding the wheel well led taillights turn signals and reverse lights for the lower portion shout out bmw of tampa for making this review possible m50 badge in the top right corner full rear parking sensing i like the diffuser area it kind of looks like there are exhaust tips but of course this is a full ev no exhaust tips heat extractors in the corner reflectors too other than that though we could take a step up front pop this hood and just see what we got under there so bmw is not a traditional latch you have to double pull this latch underneath your steering column and the hood just lifts up right away nothing to play with over here just lift it up hydraulic struts huge thumbs up and here you have it what you see is basically what you get you got your internals washer fluid in the left corner uh the radiator which keeps everything nice and cool and it does say m on this i guess engine cover but we can shut this thing up Take a step back and we'll start this EV up and check out the lights and I'll catch back with you in one second. All right guys, you can check out your flickering daytime running lights. They're not actually flickering in real life, but they accent this 
black headlight housing really nicely. As far as the interior, let's take a step inside and really check it out. So up top, everything soft touch, stitching beneath. I like this aluminum area with the aluminum door handle, really impressive resistance. I actually slipped out of my hand at first. Leather stitching beneath, of course, leather stitched armrests, two person memory seats, auto one touch for all four, auto folding mirrors and four way adjustments. The area beneath has a nice soft texture to it. It's not quite as gushy soft as the M5 competition we just reviewed, but still a pretty soft area. The bottle holder, it's very angled, so make sure your lid is very tightly closed. Trunk release, a little bit of additional storage to the left of it. M aluminum badge as, as we step inside. The seats also super supportive. You get the thigh support, of course, adjustable down over there, and lumbar control, super supportive seats, contrast stitching, definitely a thumbs up. As far as the interior itself, we could take a step inside and really check it out. And first thing we notice is the steering wheel. No paddle shifters, just an EV. Wouldn't really be expected, but it's still your really thick M steering wheel. Heated cruise control settings on the left side. Stitching material for the horn. Blue outline for the BMW badge. Signature for the EVs as far as the horn itself. Really aggressive sounding horn. People should definitely be getting out of your way. Infotainment adjustments on the right side. And if you guys haven't noticed yet, we get BMW's all new iDrive 8 system, which features this integrated screen Really impressive 2K resolution technology. Absolutely beautiful, all new for the BMW cars. But anyway, behind the steering wheel, we get the turn signals, which have a pretty satisfying click, auto headlamps, auto high beams, rain sensing wipers on the right side, which is also a nice feature. As far as this infotainment, we're currently in comfort mode. We get a 160 speedometer with the M in the corner, e-power on the right side, kind of mimicking a tachometer. Uh, we can adjust this by pressing these buttons, we have content, we get trip data, route preview, map, and your media radio. My personal favorite actually is to look at the map at all times. That's pretty cool that we get to see that. We can also switch between content and layout, and layout can be switched right over here between different modes. Super interesting adjustments, and your heads up can be adjusted as well. Not quite sure if I could pick up the heads up on camera, but it is all adjustable right over here my personal favorite to look at at all times would just be this layout and the map in the middle of it pretty impressive digital speed on the left side battery percentage beneath it clock speed limit what seats are currently occupied gear we're in and total mileage of the vehicle on the right side we have an additional really impressive curved 2k screen really high resolution we get the climate information beneath outside of it as far as the home we can take a look at our map the volumes currently on the sound system is also really impressive this all-new touchscreen has insane response really smooth touch too we also get the telephone personal assistant and this is all voice command you can just tell it wherever you want to go with your voice commands you can say decrease volume activate my heated seats what's the temperature where's the traffic change my songs you can really tell the system just about everything my BMW route preview and you can add all these widgets as far as just the main menu you guys can see everything that is available on this new i4 M50i. Truly loaded with features, driver settings, doors and windows, interior lighting. You guys can pause, take a look at all these. My personal favorites to look at at all times just be this home screen where you can see everything. Open pour wood, aluminum outsiding it, air vents. We get the hazards, skip the song controls, max AC, but the most of the climate controls in this vehicle are gonna be controlled through the touchscreen. I kinda wish they gave us more dials down here but still more than good enough as far as this trim area, still that open port wood, you press it one time, it reveals USB port and two cup holders. Surprising we don't see a USB down here, 12 volt outlet. As far as the gear selector, it controls your single speed electric transmission, but the backup camera, you pull it back one time after you press this button, and oh, we're in drive, you push it forward one time, we're in reverse, and the backup camera, super high resolution, we get guidance lines and trajectory, no 360 camera, However, we do get the front and rear parking sensors with trajectory as well. Pretty nice too. You can also have parking sensors only if for some reason you don't want to look at your backup camera. To put it back into park, you just press this P button. Engine start, stop, trash control you can disable and this car will spin all four wheels with its 520 horsepower, 580 pound feet of torque. You can disable your parking sensor, sport, comfort, eco pro mode. We'll start this review off in comfort. Try out sport, see what the differences are. Park. Parking brake, auto hold, and if you don't want to go to the touchscreen, you get your dial with your shortcuts right over here. More open pore wood stitching for where your knee will often hit. More of that aluminum trim. Super soft armrest for the center console. The space, pretty impressive. I'd say you fit between six, maybe even a seventh, 12-ounce can, and you do get your USB port back there 
as well the glove box we can pop it right over here more of that open pour wood trim above it line with felt super impressive spacious too you could probably fit 15 20 license plates we get a window sticker in there but we get an additional one right here so we can take a look at all the features that i may have missed and before we check that out we do get a auto dimming rear view mirror frameless and a moonroof with a sunshade to open up the sunshade you just double click and it's a pretty large glass kind of similar to the m5 competition that we just reviewed in this channel and it opens up pretty far it opens up that's actually as far as it opens up we can poke our way out of here beautiful day today in tampa florida it's sunny and 86 degrees so it's pretty hot actually we got jesse out there waiting for me to finish up this interior portion of this review so we'll do exactly that we'll leave the sunroof open for when we hop out back so you guys can get a good sense of the light brought into the cabin or at least the shade to the left of the steering wheel we get our lighting controls auto headlights of course you can activate your parking lights on both sides too and of course turn them off interior brightness and some secret storage beneath also lined with felt hopefully you guys can get a good look at your pedals two outlined in aluminum floor mounted accelerator and a pretty large dead pedal and to get out of the rear view camera as all bmw cars you got to press the home button we are in park you guys can pause take a look at all the standard features for the 2022 bmw i4 m50 base price sixty six thousand dollars after all these options brooklyn gray metallic for 550 950 for the premium package which gives us the heated steering wheel lumbar control heated front seats and ambient lighting a thousand dollar bmw curve display with hud heads up display 995 for the destination total price right under seventy thousand bucks this is a fantastic value this car is fast m3 m4 levels are fast it's fully electric so you just charge up and go as far as standard features too you can pause take a look at all those 96 mpge 94 city 98 highway 35 kilowatt hours per 100 miles 270 miles per tank 10 hours for a 240 volt charge time that's about it though we can put this window sticker right back that's about it for the features in general let's hop out back see how much space is offered back there as well as the overall quality of the materials. All right, guys, stepping in the back seat of the 2022 i4 M50. Soft touch, of course, up top, aluminum beneath. Good resistance for the grab handle, stitching in the middle. Stitched, soft, armrest, auto one touch. The bottom portion is still a rubberized texture. Cup holder, you probably fit a 16 ounce with no problem. Probably get a six inch sub right next to it. The back seats, the padding goes out all the way to the frame. Very soft too, making the seats pretty couch-like solid bolstering even for a back seat as far as legroom i'm a little over six feet tall sitting behind my seat settings and i am starting to run out of space but i still have an inch or two so for long trips i wouldn't necessarily be uncomfortable third zone climate two usb c's pass through for the all-wheel drive system cargo nets behind both of the front seats string attached to the center armrest which is nice two cup holders enough to fit two 12 ounce cans with really no problems you can check out the interior lights which are leds and pretty decent light bar into the cabin thanks to that moonroof that's about it though for the back seat we can take a step out towards the trunk see how much space is offered back there and this vehicle has the kick to open trunk you just slide your foot beneath and the tailgate opens right up the key has to be in your pocket though for this to be functional but check it out you can see your rear hatch this is a hatch it's not quite the same as a sedan but that just means you get more space the floor is a little bit higher up but pretty spacious you see two pockets for grocery bags so they don't slide around a little bit of secret storage beneath you can just take this lid off permanently and have a little bit more of cargo space the rear seats fall down 40 40 20 you fold those seats down i'd expect you to fit between a 55 to a 65 inch tv back here with no problems pretty spacious and you get a tunnel cover for both portions so people that walk by aren't going to see what's in your tailgate but we can press this button watch it close right up and as soon as it does we'll take this 2022 bmw i4 m50 out for a drive all right guys now we've just about seen everything we need to see with the inside and outside of this all new 2022 bmw i4 m50 let's take it out for a drive and first thing i notice is obviously it's an insanely quiet in interior thanks to this ev system but it still feels very similar to most other bmw vehicles of course this car shares 90 percent of its parts with gasoline powered bmw so it's going to feel very similar to most bmw cars while still having a very unique power delivery which we can check out as soon as we get the chance and so we'll throw it in the sport and as soon as we got an opening onto this multiple lane highway I'll catch back with you in one second. All right, guys, 
Looks like a good spot to try an acceleration off the line. We're not gonna try the launch control or anything like that, but just off the line, you can, you can see this instant power right here. Oh my gosh, wow. Yeah, they say zero to 60 around 3.7 seconds. I think that's very underrated. BMW is known for underrating their vehicles. Their M5 competition is rated at, what, 617 horsepower, and it's closer to 620 horsepower to the wheels, making it closer to the 700 mark. I, I wouldn't be surprised if this i4 M50 was the exact same way. That zero to 60 felt like it could be a lower mid three second. And taking a step out here, still in sport, the throttle feels pretty sensitive in sport. Definitely no problem accelerating. But for daily commuting, I would probably recommend just leaving it in comfort. We, we, we demonstrated sport, you guys saw, it's absolutely ridiculous. But in comfort mode, the throttle gets a lot less sensitive. The steering gets significantly lighter. And this vehicle has an air suspension out rear. We get McPherson struts up front and a multi-link air suspension out rear, which really makes this vehicle feel smooth. The like half throttle in comfort mode is still super strong, guys. It's just the process of getting to that halfway is significantly less intense in sport mode you lean into it halfway it is smacking you back in the seat whereas in comfort it has more of a gradual build and just cruising along around speed limit miles per hour it is silent in here we only get single pane windows in this i4 but still you hear just about zero when it comes to wind noise and road noise really quiet most EVs that we reviewed in this channel have a little bit of both road and wind noise. It's more noticeable at least because there's no engine noise drowning out the road and wind. However, here, even without the engine noise, it sounds incredibly, incredibly quiet. And the regenerative braking definitely works. You can adjust the intensity of it. It's not quite as aggressive as some of the other competition that really get the vehicle stopped to a complete stop. But this is still right up there. You'll get to like really low speeds without even touching the brake pedal. And the brakes work really well. The whole car in general is just super impressive. I'll definitely recommend anybody looking for a sporty EV to check it out. And huge thanks to BMW of Tampa for making this review possible. Really impressive staff, really impressive dealership. I'll leave a link to their inventory below. One of the best BMW dealerships I've seen so far. Their inventory is actually surprisingly good. So if you're looking for a premium sporty vehicle, a premium SUV in the Tampa area, I would definitely recommend checking these guys out. And huge thanks to all you guys for watching. Had a great time making this video. This is one of the coolest, one of the fastest cars we reviewed in this channel. Really impressive and the luxury and tech, it's really up there. Some of the best we've seen from BMW so far. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe if you've already subscribed. Thank you so much. You guys know I have endless gratitude for all the subscribers. You know, the channel is just not possible without you guys. And I really have a huge appreciation for each and every one of you and your constant support. But again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Leave a like too, it really helps me out the YouTube algorithm, that's how these videos get promoted to new people. Leave a comment, let me know what you like, let me know what you don't like. Leave a comment, let me know if there's any specific cars or trucks you'd like to see reviewed in this channel too. And I'll definitely try to get those videos for you as soon as possible. But other than that, again, thank you so much for watching and hope all of you have a great day. One thing I didn't show you guys is this vehicle. It's one of the only EVs that I've seen so far that has this feature where you have like a simulated engine noise in sport mode. You can activate it so that you can have like a whining EV loud noise. I'm not quite sure how to describe it. I kind of wish I demonstrated for you guys in this video, but I'm sure there's countless videos on it. It's really cool. It, is that, is that a me? Uh, yeah. All right. It's a really cool feature. It really makes this vehicle liven up in sport mode, giving it its own unique characteristics.